All right, how's it going today, guys? So today we're going to set up a couple four deck pre filters. So we need to get a couple item filters here made. I've got the other bits already put together. We're going to need four of these. <clears throat> so we need robust casings for this. Then we need galvanized in case it's supposed to do fluids. I can never remember which way these go. And we need electrum for the items. And then our hammer and wrench. And that gives us two of them. Alright, so that takes care of the quest for that one. Which is in aluminum, not stainless. There we go. Give me my cookie. And we also have a bunch of our ultimate pipes here. I'm going to go ahead and hammer up a few of these. Because I don't have the fuel to do the curving machine, I'll just do them this way. Just trying to run these things through the plate bender is running me out of ethanol, so. <clears throat> All right, so there's 21 of the ultimate pipes. So that'll take care of that quest as well. So that one is back in... <clears throat> oh, that's down in the useful alloys. There we go. I'll give me my cookie. All right, so these, unlike the brass, will do 16 stacks. And the step size is only 2,000 versus, I think it was 64. Can't remember for sure, but I think it was 64 for, or 32 for brass. So this does one stack a second. This does 16 and way shorter. So this one here is actually doing well. Now that we put this little buffer set up here, but we want to run a main between here and here over. Um, we're still going to need to redo all of these over here, um, but we I'd rather not have two separate pipes here. So what I'm going to do I'm going to put these two together here. And we're going to take this one out. And then we can put this one in its place. And then just take all of these out. Now, obviously, we got to do this all the way down the line. <clears throat> or it's going to cause issues further down the line because, you know, it's like running a highway onto an old dirt road. Traffic's not going to be able to move at the same speed when you do so. So we can get rid of all of that and then we can get rid of this. I'll save us some brass pipe that we can use other places. And now everything should be able to run just as it did before. But 
that one's having some issue. It's probably because it's having to play catch up. But I also want to take this one out, which is going to make a huge mess. Because everything is going to pop out up there. And I don't want to connect this one. I want to see if it'll actually go over here. If I take this one out and put that one in, I want to see if it'll actually go over this way now instead of making a me have that separate one. And then if it does, I can finally move this one into its place. Yeah, look how beautiful that works. All right, so I can go ahead and take this one and change its place with this one. And we don't have to have that one up there anymore. <clears throat> and this is still running great. So that takes care of that part. Now, the next thing is our Ordic filters here. We want to get two of these in here. And be careful not to hit that boiler. Burn myself up. And we can use item filters as well for like these here. So we don't have to have these right here in our face anymore. Um, we'll do that later. But right now what we're wanting to do, which we're going to use these brass pipes for this, is we're going to put these out. <clears throat> Let me think about how I want to do this here. I think we'll go this way. The only problem is if I do this the way I'm thinking here, uh, yeah, we'll be fine like this. All right, so we want these to go into here. And then we want anything that is a tiny dust because we have these black granite dust that I'm not sure where they came from, uh, but something we processed gave them to us. So we want to put those in there and you'll see it cycle through a whole bunch. And basically that's going to say if it's tiny dust, send it out this way instead of over there because that is a restrictive filter then it should most definitely come all the way through these and go over here now the only problem is with these being brass it's restricted to can it get there is this pipe full so we should probably go ahead and take out these here and put in our better ones all the way down through to here. So now in doing this we have one pipe here that can do one stack into one that can do 16, one that can do 16. So this one will not be able to force feed more in than what these two can take in. So now jump that back in there. Um, why did I have this on me? Or that? None of that should have been in there. Hmm. Well, that one goes there, and this one goes here. <clears throat> All right, and then the other one we want to do is a regular dust, which again, we can use any dust. So we'll just grab this one, throw it in there, and now that'll take care of any dust. 
And the reason why we're doing that is because we're going to be doing our Colton soon. And our centrifuge is always uh, running faster than our sluice. So we can run our Colton right through here because it only takes 28. Um, are you a tick <clears throat> to run it? And if we run it over here in, um, well, we could do it in this centrifuge as well, which might not be a terrible idea. Or we could run it in this steel centrifuge here. But if we run it in this steel centrifuge, it's going to overclock the recipe. It's going to take four times the amount of power to get twice the amount of speed because it doubles the amount of power needed to do the recipe. Um, if you need more explanation of this mathematically, go look in uh, Discord and GT6 Help. They recently had a discussion about this um, where somebody went through all the math. Uh, basically, every time you change machine tiers, for the base recipe cost, it's overclocked. And overclocking is four times the power for twice the amount of speed. So because the recipe is 28, are you a tick? That means we're going to need 28 times four just to run the recipe in this centrifuge. So it'll be better to run it in my opinion, in this one or in that one, where it's only running at, um, well, this one would be running at 64, if I remember correctly. I think that's what we have this one running at. <clears throat> I'll actually have to check that before I put it in there to make sure. Um, but you can see that you know, there's not a whole lot sitting there waiting, and usually it's waiting on this to get done. Which, why is it backed up now? Did we run into something we haven't done before? Um, no, we're actually full on cobalt. Or did I not hook up the pipe going? No, this can go downstairs. I might be full on cobalt. Or cobalite. Let's go look. Yep. Numbers red. We are full on cobaltite. So we need to get that processed. So that'll probably be something I set up in a uh, live stream is getting that piped up here um, but for right now I'm just gonna go ahead and open this pipe so we can go into that box and I can deal with that later we don't have any more in here uh, to run So we don't have to worry about that anymore. This is supposed to be over here um, actually Why were we breaking that down? I have no idea. Let's just keep that out of it But we're going ahead and running our Colton right now. I tried to do a mining and music internet was being a bit of a joke and wouldn't work that day, so I went and did it on my own. But we've got Colton, which gives us a little bit of columbite, a bit of tantalite, pyrolusite, illuminant, and then more Colton in here. And then if we wanted to, we could run it in a bath of hydrochloric acid. That would give us manganese chloride if we needed extra manganese. Or we could run it in our new magnetic separator over there, which would give us extra pyrolusite, illuminant, and colton. 
or we can run it through the centrifuge, which is going to give us the Colton, obviously, columbite, tantalite, and pyrolusite. And for right now, this is fine for me because we need the columbite and the tantalite. Um, later on, it might not be a bad idea to run it through to get extra ilmenite for iron and rutile. Rutile for titanium. See, we have these in here. Why are these in here? Those should have never gotten. Oh no, these are all... What am I thinking? Those are all supposed to be in there. My brain is off this morning, but why is this... I did not fill that box already, did I? <coughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I did. Alright, so I'm going to have to get that hooked up sooner rather than later, I guess. So let's go ahead and shut this down for right now so we're not wasting water and uh, natural gas, even though it's not really a waste. Since it's renewing itself. And we're going to go ahead and shut this one off as well. This one can run for a little while because it'll do that and I will take care of fixing this up. Probably do a live stream this weekend and uh, finally get some work done on changing over our pipes back here and getting our Colton process down so we can start on making, running our um Colton for Neo for Neobium and then we can start actually getting our magnetic steel done or meteoric steel done for our first stage of our crucible change and then our neobium and then finally we'll get to our tintalium and tungsten. But that is going to be it for today. I will see you guys next time. Have a good one. I'll catch you later.